It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Friday, the 11th of June. I'm Michael Groff. Our first big heat event of the summer is here. A period of excessive and dangerously hot temperatures begins tomorrow, continuing through the entirety of next week. But there is one interesting wrinkle to the forecast. We do see an increase in moisture by the middle part of next week, leading to at least isolated showers and thunderstorms over parts of the state. The big question is, could we see anything at all here in the valley? And could that also slow down the heat? We'll talk about all of that in just a moment. But first, it's Friday. So that means it's Photo Friday here, where we take a look at some of the photos and or videos that you guys have submitted. And first up, David Nielsen from Northern Arizona sends in these pictures from the last week or so. And he says, basically warm and dry, although there was a period of increased cloudiness and some verga, a few light showers around. But unfortunately, about the only thing that the mountains have seen are those dry thunderstorms that have kicked off a few wildfires over parts of the state. And we don't want to see any more of those, but it looks like we may have some later next week. Now, this next one is from Beth in North Phoenix, who took a picture of a gorgeous sunset from the other night. And speaking of nice sunset pictures, of course, Ryan Seek sends in these from near Maricopa along I-8. And those are sensational. Thank you so much to everyone for submitting. And if you want to get in on Photo Friday, groffshow at gmail.com. That's my email address. It's groffshow, G-R-O-F-F show at gmail.com for Photo Friday. But there is more, and we'll show you that at the end of the video. Little cliffhanger there. All right. All right, let's take a look at the almanac from yesterday. Photo Friday Part 2 coming up. Uh, 101 degrees the afternoon high, 76 the morning low, pretty close to where we ought to be for this time of year. We will be above normal for quite some time, to say the least. And check it out. Sunrise at 5.18 a.m. That's the earliest it ever gets here. Sunset, 7.38 p.m., 14 hours, 20 minutes of sunshine. And we're almost there, almost to the longest day of the year. Just two more minutes, and we're at the maximum for the Phoenix area. All right, looking outside right now here at 10.55 a.m. Clear sky out there. We're sitting at 91 degrees at Sky Harbor, but the air is extremely dry. Dew point at 18, relative humidity 7%. Winds are light to the barometer is steady. Temperatures right now 77, the cool spot at Fort McDowell, 84 up on Thompson Peak. But then, elsewhere, it's getting toasty. 97 at Gilbert, 95 at Collier, and surprise, it's in the low 90s for much of Central and West Phoenix as well. A few 80s still hanging out there. And we are well on our way to the 103 to 106 range for our highs this afternoon. The upper air look shows high pressure is now beginning to build in across the southwest. You see those upper heights coming up now between about 588 and 590 decameters here across southern Arizona. A 594 ridge is centered across northern Mexico, and that will continue to intensify in coming days. Here's the watch warning map. We still have a severe thunderstorm watch over northeast Kansas, southeast Nebraska, northwest Missouri, southwest Iowa. But elsewhere, it's all about the heat from Oklahoma and Texas westward into the desert southwest. Of course, here in Phoenix, we have an excessive heat warning, and that runs from 10 a.m. tomorrow through 8 p.m. next Friday. So seven straight days of an excessive heat warning, and that seems warranted given the extreme heat that we're about to face. High temperatures most days, 115 or so. Dangerously hot temperatures. Wear a hat, wear an umbrella, plenty of sunscreen. Bring lots of water with you if you have to be outdoors. Of course, we encourage you to stay inside during the daylight hours, especially during those times of maximized daytime heating, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and bring those pets indoors as well. All right, here is the convective outlook for today. An enhanced risk of severe storms. Level 3 out of 5 over eastern Kansas. An extreme western Missouri. A slight risk for some of the adjacent areas there. And a marginal risk up there over extreme eastern Minnesota and into much of Wisconsin. Okay, here's the precipitation outlook. This is valid through next Friday morning. No rain in the valley, not much statewide. Any rain to be found should be confined to the higher terrain, especially the eastern mountains. But we'll take a look at what's going on. The weather pattern certainly getting more interesting, very hot, with a little bit of moisture thrown in there at times. We'll talk about it as we go to modeling now. Here we go. This is the GFS. It's the 12Z run, valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. There's our upper high building across northern Mexico and infringing upon eastern Arizona. 
and a southwesterly flow aloft. So, down at the surface today, yeah, with that dry air, we should be warming up nicely. Highs this afternoon, much warmer than yesterday, 102 to 106 across the lower deserts. Tonight, skies are clear, air is dry, overnight lows, upper 60s to middle 70s, and then tomorrow, sunny and hot, highs 107 to 111. On Sunday, the ridge continues to build, the heights continue to climb, high temperatures, yeah, how about 111 to 115. We'll tack on another degree on Monday, highs 112 to 116. And those upper heights around 597 to 599 decameters across parts of Utah and Colorado. That's near record levels for them and not too far away from those heights uh, here across Arizona as well. So we'll just be sizzling. On Tuesday, the ridge is now built to the north of Arizona, the flow aloft turning more out of the east and southeast. And so we're going to start to see at least a little bit of moisture creeping into the state. Just how much remains to be seen but all of the guidance has been consistently showing this idea. So there could be at least isolated showers and thunderstorms over the eastern mountains. But with such an intense ridge sitting over the southwest, I think convection will be very limited given the thermal profiles being what they are, the rather warm air in the mid-levels, the fairly shallow lapse rates. Still, at least a few storms could fire off. They probably won't produce much rain, mostly wind and lightning producers, and that's the bad news. But... Maybe it's a sign that we could see better quality moisture coming in here eventually. Let's hope. But unfortunately for us here in the lower deserts, we're just going to be sizzling. Highs 112 to 116 again on Tuesday. And Wednesday looks somewhat similar. Highs 112 to 116. The hottest desert spots could get pretty close to 120 out there across southeast California and southwest Arizona. But one difference here is we still continue to see an increase in moisture over the eastern part of the state. And not significant moisture by any means, but far more than we have seen for quite a while. So, isolated, maybe even widely scattered showers and thunderstorms firing up there. And if there is any opportunity for showers or storms or blowing dust or anything to happen here in Phoenix, I do think Wednesday night would probably be that time. So given that, we're going to go ahead and put a 10% chance of showers and storms in here for Wednesday night. And again, more than likely, just blowing dust and some lightning. But we'll watch for it. We'll keep an eye on model trends because moisture levels continue to rise at least somewhat out here by then. And depending on how these storms evolve on Wednesday, Thursday could be a different forecast. For now, we're going to call it partly sunny with highs somewhere in the 111 to 115 range. But if we do have more clouds around, I think temperatures might be held down at least a couple of degrees. It's still going to be intensely hot, and the excessive heat warning looks to uh, have merit to continue here. But we will have to see how moisture levels continue. The monsoon or the pre-monsoonal activity is always a little wacky around here. These heat events kind of sometimes have a mind of their own. All right, let's go to a week from today. This is Friday the 18th. We still have the ridge here across the southwest, but it is at least slightly less intense. High temperatures probably still somewhere around 108 to 113. And isolated showers and thunderstorms continue each afternoon over the higher terrain of northern and eastern Arizona. They'll try to make their way toward the deserts. Probably won't make it, though. Then let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 20th. And now the ridge has really been displaced, and we see a stronger ridge developing across the northern Pacific, 594 ridge there, and a weak low developing along the central California coast, and a tropical system perhaps forming somewhere off the Baja. And so we could still have some moisture around the southwest. This pattern looks a little bit more disorganized and a bit of a departure from previous model runs, but we'll watch that. Still isolated showers and storms would probably continue over the higher terrain. Temperatures would come down probably just shy of excessive heat levels by this point. Highs probably closer to 105 to 109 if that checks out. And as we look at rainfall for Phoenix over the next couple of weeks coming off of the GFS Ensemble, about two-thirds of the members are still trying to show some rather light precipitation during that time period, the ensemble mean is under a tenth of an inch. The control member up over a tenth of an inch, however. Uh, but nevertheless, not looking all that promising. But anytime we see anything, any non-zero value here in mid to late June, it's still kind of interesting. 
Because again, only about 2% of all days in mid to late June historically in Phoenix have ever had any measurable rain. So things are typically rather dry. And here it is, folks, the bad news. Temperatures off the national blend of models. Yeah. Uh, now the latest run here has 117 for us on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, either way, whatever, 116, 117, it's just hot at that point. Stay indoors as much as possible. Avoid those outdoor activities. Wear that sunscreen. Wear the hat. Bring the umbrella. Keep the pets indoors. We're going to talk about this a lot, I have a feeling, over the next week to 10 days. And that's almost going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is scheduled for Monday morning. Of course, updates are likely to be needed before that. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. The video's not quite over yet. Yes, of course, we have our forecast that we put in at the end. But before that, a little bit more Photo Friday action for you. Tyler, who is a regular contributor here on the videos, well, he and his dad were out doing a storm chasing expedition in New Mexico and West Texas about a week ago, a little over a week ago. And he wanted to share some of those photos with you, put together a whole montage of not only photos, but videos that he took set to music and everything. So I thought I would share that with you and then we'll roll into our forecast and all of our regular business here. So you guys have yourselves a great Friday and a wonderful weekend. And take it away, Tyler.